Hi there, everyone. I'm uh, Chris, and thanks for tuning in today. So today, what I'm going to cover is just uh, transitioning the doorways from carpet to uh, laminate or LVP. There's uh, several ways of doing it, but um, customer is going to put the, have me do the carpet first. So I'm just carpeting a couple bedrooms. And so what I'm going to do is just get this ready for the contractor when he does the LVP in the hallway. So before we get started, just ask that you please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. We're just going to, I'm just going to keep putting these videos up and try to get more interest in the channel. And hopefully this is helpful to people and helping you with your projects. So let's get started. So what I'm doing in the doorways is I'm going to put this stuff that's called Z bar. Uh, some a lot of carpet layers don't even like this stuff. I I've used a ton of it. I'm okay using it. I think it works great for different things. But um, what I do is put the in the doorway. The tack strip goes on top of this, and the carpet tucks around. And then we we're going to hammer that down, and that'll pin it down. And I think that's going to be the best in this situation. And then the contractor can just bring his LVP up to the doorway. And the carpet will already be pinned down, and he can put his um, trim in the doorway, butt it up to the carpet. So let me show you what that looks like. Let me go grab it. So let me show you what I got here. Um, you can see this in the camera here, but um, yeah, they're going to do this doorway with this, and then they're going to put the sand cap in here, I'm assuming. So what I'll do is just uh, we'll just roll that carpet in this doorway, pin it down, and then he can slide his um, his uh, reducer on the end of that board wherever he wants to put it. I, I don't know what the, this is. This is not the material they're using, but um, they can slide that into the carpet. I think that's probably the best in this situation. I mean. Hit me with some comments, and I know there's a lot of guys that do a lot of this stuff that have watched some of my videos, and so I, you know, I'm okay to handle some criticism. So if there's a a better way, normally I, I get that. Normally you're doing the LVP before you put the carpet in, but they want to do the carpet first in this in this project. So uh, that's why I'm thinking this is probably the best way to do this, but. When I, as I do this, I'll show you what I exactly how I'm going to do it. And so this room doesn't even have a seam. So this is also a, 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 you know, a good video for somebody that's maybe trying to tackle a carpet little bedroom or something for themselves. I know it kind of seems overwhelming, but it's not as bad as you think. They also don't have the baseboard in this. Um, they pulled the trim out. And so what I've done is just. If you, I know I've talked about this in another video. If you put the tack strip right against the wall, quarter inch, like you would baseboard, it's going to be a nightmare getting the carpet out someday. So I've actually moved the tack strip back about three quarters of an inch, and I'll just I'll trim it to the wall. It'll still make it a little bit harder, but they can keep the tack or the baseboard on top of that, and then should allow enough space there they can reuse this tack strip again down the road. I don't know if it'll be me or somebody else. Depends on how long down the road it is. So, see, as you can see, I got the tax strip all down, just three quarters of an inch. So they can put their baseboard up. And so, using this uh, memory foam pad again with the spill safe on it, need to be a pretty good pad. So, and then of course I got my Z bar in the doorway and. I'm gonna go to town and get this carpet in here. A couple, I gotta do three bedrooms, but they're only ready for two, so get busy on that.
Okay, so what I'm doing here is just gonna tuck this in. Then I'm gonna stretch out of the doorway. I like to stretch out of the closets. So I'm gonna take a few stretches, set this long here in the doorway, stretch to this, the back of the room. Sorry, you can't see where I'm pointing, but um, I'll stretch back there and then take my stretches down towards the other side, away from the doorway as well. So. And this is an 80 ounce carpet, so it's a little thicker than most. Pull this pad out of the way. Okay, so this is what I my thinking is on this is if your if your carpet's set like this and already done, um, your staples aren't helpful either. Then you can just kind of bring that in wherever you need it. And this isn't even the right uh, transition for this. And you know, there's not much to these. I mean, they're just not a lot of carpet to tuck in there. So that's why I think the Z bar is the best way to go. Um, I mean, some of them are thicker than others, but you know, you can get that set where you want, get your track in, and then the whoever's doing this can just bring that. Type that carpet and it is pinned down. So, anyways, that's my thinking behind that. If somebody has some other creative ideas or whatever, let me know. I'm going to keep going in this room. I'm going to stretch your board on here. <sighs> this is not a very big room, it's only a 12 by 11. We'll just take one stretch up here in the corner. Go out a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to set that back wall there. And then I can stretch all the way across this other wall. A lot of times you can just take a stair tool and just crease that wall and it holds. Oh. But we're just going to tap it on with the kicker. And I was watching another guy's videos on YouTube and he he talked and made some comments about um, just not being... Yeah, 150 yards of carpet a day, and that's that's me as well. I've been doing this for a long time, and a couple bedrooms is uh, about right for me. This job's 50 yards for three bedrooms, and that's about perfect for me in a day anymore. And then, like, I'm stretching it this way. 
So that corner right there, I kind of cut it back just a little bit. It's not going to pull a ton, but you just don't want to end up short in any places. But they're putting a base too, so kind of hard to screw that up. I'm going to stretch everything into this corner over here. I'm stretched out of that doorway, and now I'm pulling everything, and then I'll set the closet. I like to stretch out of the closets, um, so we'll stretch everything and we'll end up in that corner over there. That's how I've got the stretcher at an angle, too. We're just going to angle everything in that corner. I also talked about my handy dandy carpeted four by four. This is what I use go along the wall. It's, you know, it's not going to scratch anything and it's going to keep your stretcher from putting holes in the wall. So I got my trimmer. I had to put some new blades in it too. So. Okay, we are trimmed in. Okay, this is this is done. This room, so all stretched in and trimmed in, closet and everything. So let me show you this doorway again. But we are done with the room. Of course, this transition here doesn't even match the floor, so I just grabbed some scraps so I could kind of make a demonstration here. Just decide where that needs to end. And then you can put your um, track down. And I think this would make it easy for just about anybody. So I use the Z-Bar stuff all the time. I just think there's just not, these these transitions just aren't a lot there. And I know a lot of people use the T-Molds maybe, but I don't think they're that sturdy. Um, overlapping carpet, there's nothing there to really race it. So I'm not... I'm not a real big fan of those on going to carpet. Um, but this, you can kind of gauge where you need to be. And, and then you get a nice, you know, you can get it in there tight against that nice clean edge that you know is not going anywhere because it is clamped down with a Z-bar. So anyways, that is done. I'm, I got to bust out this other room. Okay, that is the end of this video. That's what I'm going to call it a wrap. Just I wanted to show you some ideas on transitioning your doorways from carpet to uh, LVP. So I hope this was helpful. Um, and uh, just maybe it uh, will help you into the project or whatever. So please subscribe. I know you want to. You might as well just do it. And we'll keep doing these videos. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.